all right guys so i'm going to demonstrate uh, another strange issue with the latest version of oxygen os 957 on oneplus 7t sorry oneplus 7 pro i keep referring oneplus 7 pro as 7t so when you are scrolling um, on some of the sites it starts shaking up so i'm not sure if it will do right now but it does shake sometimes like right now it is not shaking otherwise when I was trying to scroll up or down it was randomly shaking like this I can try to replicate it there you go so this is the ghost touch what people keep talking about there you go so my hand is off uh, when I scrolled it but still it keeps shaking up let me try again I think you must be yep there you go my hand is far far away both the hands there's no way actually nothing is actually can be recognized as touched but still it keeps happening there you go so this typically happens when you are scrolling up or down so essentially it gets confused now if I'm trying to scroll up or down after I remove the hand so it's happening all the time and no matter what finger I use like right now I'm using my index finger there you go thumb index finger or anything and I always hold my phone right from the side so that uh, there's no way it can actually detect touch so let me try to put it on a surface and see if it makes any difference so now I'm not holding the phone at all it's lying down let me try to scroll up or down okay. yep there you go so for the first few times it works fine but after some time it starts shaking up there you go so now there's no way there's a, any kind of touch both my hands are more than one feet away when this happens still it happens all right guys thank you for watching one of the several bugs i think uh, there's one more thing i would like to talk about um the fingerprint sensor the in display fingerprint sensor when the display brightness is low uh, let me try to reduce the brightness so when the display brightness is low typically you know during the night time i never use such low brightness but i'm trying to simulate it because right now it's daytime so let me try to open some application which has got fingerprint uh, enabled now let me try no there you go sometimes when this screen pops up it actually boosts the brightness quite significantly it's actually it, it blasts the brightness quite significantly and uh, there's one more time when I'm doing a negative toggle I'm not sure uh, I don't think the video will capture negative toggle but if it is in negative toggle mode then when I try to open some application let me try Facebook there you go it blasts the complete screen it actually blinds you it's quite actually harmful and very very distracting and very annoying so right now I have a bright blast of uh, screen because of the negative toggle thing now uh, you know it's the screen is completely bright and it's asking me to do the fingerprint sense scanning so it works fine uh, there's no issue as such other than it not um, you know registering the fingerprints initially on uh, properly so one of the fingers if i try to open some application again blasting brightness so i'm using left I'm trying to see it typically does not unlock no. most of the times it doesn't do so only on my right thumb it actually you know recognizes fine so other than my right thumb all my fingers and left thumb it doesn't detect it too well for some reason okay um, so these are a couple of uh, very very annoying issues uh, which keeps troubling me there's one more thing um, on Facebook when I'm trying to type something using Swift key 
right I type something now when I have to go to the next line um, so I have to press and hold the enter button otherwise if I simply press it actually brings on uh, the emoji thing now if I'm trying to press and hold nothing is happening now it happened so most of, most of the times nothing happens I'm pressing and holding it actually doesn't even detect that I'm actually pressing and holding normal tap it detects fine but at the same place if I'm pressing and holding it simply stops detecting nothing is happening so this is a very very annoying issue because of which I am not even able to use uh, swift key on most of the applications because um, whenever I have to press and hold something around the edges it just doesn't detect the press and hold gesture maybe because of the you know gesture controls uh, it simply stops recognizing and recognizing press and hold around the edges I don't know why it happens normal tap it detects no issue but if I'm pressing and holding it just don't detect it again pressing and holding doesn't detect nothing happens again pressing and holding doesn't detect so I would say more than 95 percent of the times it just don't detect it I'm doing it again and again nothing is happening so these three are very very annoying issues of oneplus uh, 7 pro which are consistent even on the latest 957 uh, firmware where uh, they have supposed to um, you know fixed the, this uh, touch issues but of course they are far from being fixed and I'm not sure if this can actually be fixed using a software update so these are very annoying issues which can be a deal broker breaker it is definitely a deal broke breaker for me because I really can't tolerate such kind of um, you know issues on my mobile phones I'm happy with my oneplus 5 you know not even oneplus 6 or 60 I'm very very happy with my oneplus 5 it doesn't have any kind of performance bottleneck except for some of the times uh, you know it does have uh, um, you know memory hogs uh, even on a 8 GB RAM uh, version and unfortunately I saw the same thing on oneplus uh, 7 pro so another issue I would talk about um, you know, let me go to the home screen oh. now here oops. if I go to the RAM utilization if you can see I only have about less than 1.5 GB available on a 8 GB version phone more than 6 GB is used and uh, idle RAM is about 289 uh, MB and the most annoying feature on of uh, oneplus 7 pro is this swap um, you know memory I cannot disable it and it's unnecessarily destroying this internal storage and also slowing down the phone because it it has created a swap file of 4 GB and out of which about 1 GB is always used you know between anywhere between 200 MB to uh, around 1.5 GB it is always used for some reason so I have got uh, 1.3 1 uh, GB RAM available right now still it is using more than 1 GB of um, you know um, swap storage which is uh, you know which which is basically unnecessarily writing to the storage because normally when you are using the phone there is hardly any write operation happening so the more and more write operations happen eventually it will actually um, you know uh, it has got a flash memory just like SSDs so it will eventually wear out uh, the flash storage because it it has limited number of cycles uh, where you can actually write to the storage before it starts uh, slowing down and effectively start dying out you know basically it has got limited uh, cycles uh, cycle count um, beyond which you know uh, essentially a number of TBs beyond which it will start uh, degrading you know the right performance and uh, eventually it will start having bad sectors and you know significant degradation of storage and eventually it will die so ideally this swap file should never be used on a flash storage especially in a phone where Android uh, operating system simply shuts down um, any application which is actually consuming uh, which is basically 
you know there is a min, uh, minimum uh, uh, free minimum free ram kill uh, stuff which happens so essentially that should happen instead of using any swap file in my oneplus 5 there is absolutely no swap storage it's all zero zero so swap is zero used is stored in, uh, used a swap is obviously zero because of that so unfortunately on oneplus uh, 7 pro this happens and this has nothing to do with uh, this feature this new feature of ram boost even if i disable this uh, ram boost feature like uh, let me disable it right now it doesn't make any difference so let me go back to ram truth no difference in available memory or swap file usage so by default it uh, that feature ram boost is disabled on the phone even then right from the beginning i am seeing the same thing happening right from uh, 954 955 and uh, 957 version of oxygen os so these are very annoying features which are deal breaker for me because i don't want my phone to use swap storage and i am okay if it kills uh, some applications and even after it is actually using swap it actually kills quite a lot of application like right now let me try to cycle through my applications like let me try to start this one so it is still on storage let me see home still in storage i have seen many applications um, you know stop working so they it actually reboots now this no i think this is not rebooting so but yeah i have seen many applications closing uh, even when swap file is used um, so of course the minimum ram free um, setting is kicking in and for some reason swap file is also being used which is not good right guys i think i have spoken enough thank you for watching so these are a few of the issues which i have seen on oneplus 7 pro i'll be talking about more in the coming uh, few days so thank you for now bye bye